Thank you for listening and welcome to the Life Podcast, a proud member of the Eventide Entertainment Podcast Network. I'm your host, Don Smith. Mike Shea and Scotty Mays stick around as we laugh ourselves into the highlight reel. All we need is $5 and a can of Pringles. If you enjoy the show, like and follow the Life 1069 on Facebook and Don Smith Comedy on Twitter, or tune in live on Tuesdays from 7 to 9 p.m. on WWSU 106.9 FM, or you can stream the show live at WWSU1069.org. A brutal presence overwhelms me. A brutal presence. Actually, well, well, actually, we're back on the live radio hey. show. Oh, hey, hey. Hey. we're back. At every everybody went down and, and emptied, emptied, and lo- yeah, looked for Except the Pringles for lady. Yeah, <laughs> and I gotta say, I uh, I use the 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 one next yeah, door that like I don't there usually. On the south side. Well, I tell you, the uh, the paper towels cost a quarter, but they're way more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought they costed five dollars. He started. <laughs> They're like, why do they expand? Yeah, they're, they're like they're all wrapped. Like they're all individually wrapped paper. Why, why, right why am I not using this type of napkin for my coffee spills? <laughs> I <laughs> that, that And I saw the weirdest kind to of pay it forward. There was actually one of those slots already had a quarter in there. Oh, <laughs> there you like, go. Yeah. So you know, I took it. <laughs> this is the quarter. Wait. Score. Only $4.75 more to go. <laughs> yep. yep. Every, oh, every little you bit get, counts. Right? <laughs> you get one sixteenth of a Pringle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, man. Is this still, are we doing a marathon? Is this still the we same are. show? This is still the, well, we're going to rename it. Okay. <laughs> See, we're just, if we keep referencing everything that we did that was funny in the last show, this show will be only slightly less funny, and we'll be able to use one of the better names. <laughs> this will be a whole hour of yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Genius comedy. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. Brilliant. Get the Netflix back. <laughs> yep. yep. Where's my sitcom? <laughs> uh, but anyway, we're we're back. Uh, Mike Shea still still sitting in. The, the lovely Charlie Hester couldn't make it, so we have the beautiful Mike Shea. In, uh, Thank you, Don. I, make you un- I made him uncomfortable. He's blushing. <laughs> and we and we have the uh, I don't blush with my face. It's okay. The Scottiest of Scotty mazes. <laughs> you can't get more not, Scotty than this. I, man. No, that is the Scottiest you can ever be. Right. Yeah, <laughs> there is nobody that's more Scotty, uh, except for Scotty, maybe or Biss. Except for Scotty, that killed it. That just it killed did. the energy. <laughs> the Biss right out, man. joke wasn't. Yeah. 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 That was some serious low hanging fruit right there. <laughs> Speaking of low hanging fruit, EDOD. I, <laughs> I sat down on yep. the toilet in the bathroom just a few minutes ago. Oh, okay. And I realized Great. I yeah. have low hanging fruit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That happens. The mid forties well, are not going to be kind to me. The thing is, I'll tell you with that toilet down there, if you flush before you sit, <gasps> they actually there's a check valve that's gone bad. So hot water. <laughs> It is so relaxing. Um, okay, so, so basically, it's you guys are yeah, wise to the show. Once, I'm gonna go. Once the fruit hits the warm water, though, they do tend to hang lower. Sure. <laughs> so it's kind of like a, a little DIY little bidet. Patrick has no idea. He's got nothing. You know, he's he's way too young to be really patient, know. my yeah, son. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you'll get there. You reach forward. You're not really my and, son. Yeah, for any listeners yeah. out there, it's just the jury's still <laughs> out. But I mean. You, you'll reach 40, and when you sit on the toilet, it's like your own pair of water wings down there. <laughs> uh, where did we go wrong? Uh, I'm going to say February 5th, 1976. <laughs> yeah. So the thing is, whenever I use a toilet, I squat, so I wouldn't even have that problem at the age of 40 anyway. Dayton uh. has a serious problem with squatters. Yeah. yeah so true, true. We really need to, <laughs> we, we need to do yeah. <laughs> Yep, there's several in the alley. And the just, visualization yeah. that you just painted in my head is yeah. it's quite disturbing. Yeah. I'm yeah. I'm Bob Ross couldn't have painted a better he picture. He won't take a compliment, <laughs> but he will be but transparent he, yeah, and talk about he, squatting. Yeah, talk about, <laughs> so I'm 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 curious. Yeah. Actually this is gonna be an educational <laughs> do, do, <laughs> do you want me to be educational what, about you, it? You <laughs> say you say you squat when you go yeah. to the toilet. Do you yeah. like stand up on the rim of the toilet and yeah. squat? Okay. Yeah. It's an Olympic event. So 
Do you have like so special science- shoes? Because I would think you'd slip off. No, okay, not really. Poor, uh, okay, so you do on the seat, just you not just, on the porcelain. Uh, you chalk okay. up your feet real on good. On the seat, yeah. You, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, <gonna say. laughs> it's like watching him. It's, it's the, he's training for American Ninja Warrior. Is what it's it like is. LeBron, but with his feet. <laughs> <laughs> but there's some pretty hard evidence to suggest that squatting is actually more healthy for you than sitting when you're going number two. And uh, it actually, ma- uh, for me, it makes it easier to go number two. Was it because of the video with the, the little squatty, unicorn yeah, in it? Told you so. Or... Unicorn, Do you yeah. rock and squat? <laughs> <laughs> Are you a squat rocker? Squat rock. I don't even know what that That's is. Honestly, genre music. pop it, lock, and squat it. Pop and lock and squat. I don't know. And I think, drop it like it's hot. <laughs> I think I would be more of a of a heavy metal squatter or something like that. Oh, so you mosh squat. Okay. Mosh, mosh squat. Get a, get a, get a squat pit going on. A squat pit. <laughs> no, I, he has a point, though, because when I was locked up in county, I, I too, you, was a squatter. You were a squatter? <laughs> well, yeah. I, I think you'd be a hoverer. <laughs> yeah. 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 But I wasn't, like, facing the wall. I made sure my eyes right, were right, right. the wall. I was, So what do you yeah. do? You face the wall and, like, hang on to the <laughs> no. Get those reps in, man. You got to really work those quads. There's a special toilet seat that's really just foot pads. <laughs> oh, that is that is different. I I know you know. I'd heard the whole squatting thing, but I you have know, you I thought have they heard made that. It, that's, I have heard the that. first that. Well, um, I've seen the unicorn. I've seen, seen the, poop, the unicorn seen video. The, pooping, the ice cream pooping unicorn. Well, the problem the is, squatty, I'm not going to carry potty. a squatty potty with me on campus wherever I go. Yeah. Yeah, don't be should, afraid to be you. They should have like a, they should you. have like a compact folding squatty potty. That's they your should. that's your yeah. new invention right there that you can install one backpack. in every bathroom. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. It's supposed and like to be, the, it's the, supposed the bowl to be of the potty yeah. could just be a plastic bag, and then you just tie it in a knot and chuck it when you're done. <laughs> or mail or mail it off to Cola Guard and get checked for colon. Oh, yeah. Mail off yeah, to yeah, Congress or something. The weirdest commercial yeah. I've ever seen. I'm sure really that they, they're, they're plenty they bags so of happy already. <laughs> just, just just dump in this box and send it off. Don't go to your doctor. Just mail us your poop, and we'll check you for colon cancer. This isn't poop. This is Valentine's Day chocolates. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Feel bad for your I, girlfriend. I, tried to I don't have one, so that's that's, uh, right. well. that, that's why I'm divorced. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, this is Valentine's Day, honey. <laughs> Take a bite. It's all yeah. natural. It's organic. No, fun Next fact time, though. Don't forget the Pringles. Fun fact though. <laughs> fun fact. There legitimately is a company uh, that you can get uh, chocolate molds. Of your rectum. I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. And then everybody gets pink eye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would hope they make the mold first and then they do the chocolate oh, part. Otherwise, okay. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Other, right. yeah, yeah. Otherwise, you just, it's like. Uh, Does everybody get yeah. chemical burns from whatever? Yeah. <laughs> 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 You're going to have to gonna have these baby wipes for a while after that. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, a chocolate starfish. <laughs> <laughs> so I could just imagine people like uh, taking these uh, anal chocolates and just saying, pucker up. Right. Especially oh, with yeah. like random hairs. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's, so weird. that's the hard Extra part hairy. is getting, that, getting that, that chocolate that fine to where it looks like the hair. That's, you know, that's, <laughs> it's an art. That. It's, it's a re- rectum chocolate art. Yeah, but then for the next five days, you're going to be looking at your skid marks differently. So. <laughs> yep. Yep, is this real or is this chocolate? <laughs> That's is sick this to eat. worth a mold? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll try again later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but if you got mold in your crack, you got other problems. <laughs> you should dry off better after a shower. I've, yeah. There was plenty of crack I've had that had mold in it. I don't care. <laughs> Different kind of crack. Different oh, kind of crack. Oh, see. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, did did the crack really last long enough to mold? That's the, <laughs> no. uh, yeah, I was going to say because that's 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 no. why that's where your whole As matter story of fact, falls I was apart. on my way to earn five more dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a can of Pringles, because <laughs> right. hey, once you're done, I actually you can, smoked you, it out yeah, of the yeah, can. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Once you're done with the Pringles, you can smoke it right out of the can. <laughs> that is ingenuity yeah. right there, sir. Yeah, great mind, Scotty. Great right. mind. Yeah, yours is better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, I keep playing with these news stories. I don't know if we're ready for news stories. Uh, yet, I don't think they're ready for news stories. No. I, don't, I don't think they are. I don't think they are. We're still we, trying to get over the other one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's there's, there's that, been some that, good ones. Yeah, that, yeah. that last one's going to be hard to top. Yeah, it is. That was a real yeah. hoot nanny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that was the Pringles one. Right? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. that is uh, that will. Uh, that's not that's not the last one I did. That's just the one that stuck no, that's in our the heads. One that stuck out. Yeah. The yeah. Most. yeah, that definitely stuck out the most. And that's not even one I got from one of my regular sources. Because we popped I actually it and we found couldn't that. stop it. I that's actually right. found that on Yahoo News. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, because every now and then I said because I saw that one I was like, huh. I'll save that. And then when I went to get my news stories together for this show, I said, yeah, I saved that. That's what you Glad said about his rectum mold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll save, save that. that. You never know when somebody's going to want some delicious chocolate. <laughs> uh, <laughs> give them off the air. Balloon knock chocolate. Balloon knock chocolate. You got any of that booty chalk? Yeah, booty chalk. <laughs> chalk <Choc> delicious. <laughs> Coming soon from Esther Price. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just. Where do you go from here? Where do you go from here? We've already the hell. hell? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. We, we I'm need... not even sure hell would want us at this point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> looser down there with like Detroit the Pringles. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of animal stories in the news this week, and we, I think we need to at least touch on one of these. Right Let's now. touch some animals. Yeah. <laughs> touch <laughs> Wilson Manishy palmed a squid in his left hand and extended his arm into an aquarium tank, watch, watching a giant Pacific octopus stretch out arms to greet him like a friend. Uh, Freya latched some of her 2,240 suction cups on the... Oh, that's the, that's the octopus. We'll give her more than $5. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get an extra bag of $5 <laughs> for every yeah. suction. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, that one wealthy octopus. <laughs> anyway, uh, Freya latched some of her 2,240 suction cups onto uh, Manishi's arm, using her powers of taste and smell to gather the Pringles. <laughs> 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 to gather information around the 84-year-old man known as the Octopus Wait, Whisperer. Wait, he was 84? <laughs> yep, known as the Octopus Whisperer. Ooh, Everybody needs... Whisper. Oh, man. Ooh. It's just so Man, why are we on the yeah. radio? <laughs> uh, he he says she was contact me, contacting me and saying, "You come to me." <laughs> Man, as she said of Freya, a to three-year-old me, me. predator. <laughs> Sounds like he's the predator in this situation. <laughs> like, look at me, look at me. <laughs> you yep. come to me. Uh, her, her, her arm span of fourteen feet, and uh, pack enough strength to kill sharks and other enemies but apparently not an 84-year-old dude. Uh, but this afternoon's gentle interaction left no doubt that Manishi has a special way with the cephalopod, whose body including, includes a large sack-like head and eight powerful arms. I'm assuming the octopus. Not you me. know, when I get home, I'm going to whisper into my octopus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Come to me. Yeah. Octopus. Oh, you like this. Okay. <laughs> Things you could say to your octopus, but not your girlfriend. We should get, we should get a chocolate Unless mold of this. Unless she's into it. <laughs> hey, we should get a chocolate mold of this. <laughs> How many suctions? Yeah. <laughs> 2,240. It's a lot of hickeys. Uh, who count, how, how do you count that many of them? Unless you're like, what? Chamber so, people, Unless you're like, people. <laughs> yeah. I'm not yeah, one to shame like people for their fetishes, the Don. To get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop. That's so, how you count an octopus suction cup. Some people are just kinky, you know? That is true. That is true. I want to know exactly how much suction I'm getting. All right. $5. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta know how much suction you have in that PJ. <laughs> Patrick yeah. must be buttery because he's on a roll. Yeah. There, there you go. There you go. But that was terrible. <laughs> I blame, unless, uh, unless it's peanut butter. <laughs> that's, that's an old school uh, news anchor said that. Stu, Stu, uh, Stuart, ESPN. Oh. He passed away from um, um, oh, cancer. Okay. From, from 
what a PJ? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Passed away. Uh, got his, uh, butter roll thing. Got his winky stuck in a Pringles can. Gotcha. Okay. Why he was, was a great, he was a great man. <laughs> he was a great man, but they needed an octopus to pull it off of him. <laughs> but he had to whisper sweet nothing. Yeah. 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 Hey, whisper to your octopus. <laughs> <laughs> That's my new pickup line. <laughs> hey, I whisper to your octopus. Oh man. <sighs> <laughs> uh, I'm, mm, I got I got one for when we go to the break. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Can't some of them you just can't let out. Got to hold on to it. Uh, <laughs> a geo me a, 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 mm. a, a, a geo Gazoontai. lawmaker wants to fund President Donald Trump's border wall by squeezing money out of every Arizonan who patronizes pornographic websites with a can of Pringles. Yeah, Repu- <laughs> Republican State Representative uh, Gail Griffin. Uh, recently introduced House Bill 2444, which would require electronics manufacturers to pre-install porn-blocking software on all electronic devices bought or sold in the state of Arizona. To deactivate the blocking software, a person would have to prove they're at least 18 years old and pay a one-time fee of $20 to the Arizona Commerce Authority. They and want to take our porn. Guns. Now they're going to take yeah. our porn. Yeah. <laughs> you, can, you can take my porn when you pry me from my cold dead hand. <laughs> Can't pull me away from that <laughs> octopus. Uh, <laughs> manufacturers or retailers could also charge a fee to, for disabling it, according to the bill. Anyone who deactivates the blocker themselves would face a misdemeanor charge. The money collected by the state, according to the proposal, would form a number of grants, which would, among other things, uh, help sex abuse victims. I can understand that mm. almost, kind of, sort of. And yeah. fund the president's proposed border wall. Nah, no. Yeah. <laughs> nope, that's a no. Suddenly not interesting. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it was all fun and games until somebody brought up the wall. That's yeah. 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 That's, uh, yeah. Then it just felt unnecessary. Yeah. <laughs> So how about this squeezing money out of Puerto Rico? <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's go back to yeah, that. Yeah, let's go back to that. Uh, that I don't sounded have any, fun. Somebody's I, getting shafted. I don't well, have any are, Pringles. They are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't have that's... any Pringles, but I do have a can of Lay stacks. What's the conversion rate yeah. on those? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh... The plastic's yeah, probably going to hold up a little bit more than yeah, what the they're, Pringles they're, can Yeah, the, the, the Lay stacks. It's, it's really hard to convert. Sometimes it's hard to convert. Uh, PJs into a lay. Okay. That's really <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, so, nice. So, oh. Sometimes you gotta have one or the Dad other. Smith, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well played. The host, well, the host of Saturday's show. <laughs> well played. See, and I forgot to mention, I'm gonna be on the TV soon too. I'm uh, Are you? Uh, Jim Jim City tonight with Andrew Mitakitis. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, we're we're, we're going. Yeah. yeah, the new uh, Dayton yeah. late night talk show is going to be on that's Saturdays so cool. at 8 p.m. On DATV, it's also, I believe it's going to replay on Mondays at like noon, so How it's a cool late is that? night. He is going to rock that. That's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. I get to be his first guest. That's awesome. I, I feel I feel really privileged to be his first guest because uh, ne- the the week after, the, or the show after that, he's going to have the uh, the mayor of Dayton on there. So oh. I got on before the mayor well, that's so that good. they can work out all the kinks and all the terrible stuff during my show. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's it's going to be a great time. Actually, yeah. five thirty, uh, I believe five thirty, they're going to open the doors at DATV. If anybody wants to come out in the freezing cold DATV yeah. and be in the studio audience, it's I think uh, two eighty Leo Street in Dayton, something yeah. like that. It only costs uh, you five dollars in a Pringles can. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, uh, but or you can squeeze an octopus. But, you know. uh, if you don't have the Pringles, I'll take a good lay. <laughs> I'll take a couple lays and we'll be all right. And some of Grandpa's cookies. <laughs> and Grandpa's uh, anal chocolates too. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, it was your Grandpa that made those. Oh wow! That'd be a lot of extra wrinkles. I would say. <laughs> like more than your average amount of anal wrinkles. <laughs> Look like a damn wind stocking, dude. <laughs> What is this? A relief map of the Grand Canyon? What happened here? So many regals, it looks like a topographic map. Is that, is that a not a hemorrhoid or a peanut butter? Yeah, well, that's, that's the Grand the Canyon. I don't know. They might be filled with peanut butter. Yeah, they should be. I hope so. They should be. Every now and then you catch a peanut. In it. If I catch a piece of corn, I'm getting mad. <laughs> That's a nut cluster. Because corn and chocolate don't go together. 
<laughs> as long as it's not accidentally filled with Grandpa's uh, Viagra right. cream. Yep, yeah. yep, yeah, yeah, not the, his eye cream. <laughs> That's my eye cream, boy. Well, what are you doing putting it down there? Got his eye going on. <laughs> it's <What>? working. <laughs> Why are you staring at me so hard? <laughs> Get out of the shower when I'm in here, you creep. <laughs> You finish up and you get out. <laughs> go on, get. Yeah, go get me some Pringles. That made it wrong. Uh, <laughs> that really? made it wrong. That, that was the one. That was the one. We're talking about right eighty-three-year-old men squeezing octopuses and whispering in their ear, and now this is this is the weird part. Oh, I love this show. <laughs> this is my favorite thing today. Uh, <laughs> How bad was your day? <laughs> yeah, I'm right there with it you, was man. terrible. Let me tell yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, what a great escape from reality. No, you know, got any more poop absolutely. stories over there? Uh, was there a poop story? I think. I'd, oh no, yeah, I think we just was, was, Yeah, I was talking yeah. about a pornographic. <laughs> We're just border. making up stories about at this a point. pornographic border wall. Uh, <laughs> uh, that I would get behind. <laughs> I see what you did there, or underneath, you know, depending on the mood. Yeah. Yep. I'd have a scat man. Just <laughs> Ooh, I don't know about a scat man, but <laughs> oh, that's scat man. Okay, <laughs> yeah, because it's radio. Yeah, and yeah I was trying exactly, to clean it up a little exactly. bit. But well, why bother at this point? Are we getting messages. <laughs> you want two girls uh, to with it? Somebody, <laughs> somebody maturely hit prematurely hit the enter key. Oh, okay. <sighs> I hate when that happens. You never, <laughs> you never want to prematurely end. There's a cream for yeah. that. You don't want to. You know, yeah. You want yeah. To, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Not for premature entry. No. no you don't want yeah, to prematurely that's... stroke any key. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That's never good. Never you got to apologize. And... All right. I, I, I think, I think we need to take a break. Uh, I have a break set up. I don't think we're going to do the uh, i don't think we're going to do the the facts the the giraffe facts until next week that's going to keep everybody holding on oh yeah because if we played the break and the giraffe facts it'd be like 18 minutes before we're back <laughs> <laughs> and then we'd have to wrap up the show and i i'm not re- i'm not ready to say goodbye yet no. so go ahead and uh, play us a break and we'll we will be back here shortly
often brings people together quite like the movies, and every week, Aaron Lopez wants you to join him in a discussion about the latest and greatest in the world of film. So grab a drink, grab some popcorn, and get comfy. Come join Aaron and friends every Thursday at The Drive-In, presented by Eventide Entertainment. Hey man, this is Donnie Baker at Wiley's Comedy Club, and you're listening to WWSU 106.9. Swear to God. Swear to God, man. We're back Swear on the last God. Of the show. I, I'm, I'm, I'm your host, Don Smith, sitting in with my uh, my my lovely uh, assistant. Man, the, the compliments just keep getting better. Uh, <laughs> that water bottle. No, Mike Shea. <laughs> Wait, I thought he was. Uh, Mike Shea. Mike Shea is there. I'll be your water bottle, Don. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll be, be your Pringles. Pringles. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, I guess Patrick's going to be your Pringles. So okay. He beat me. Can they it. just sponsor the show already? I mean, come on. <laughs> and Scotty Mays. Scotty Mays is still in with us. Everybody survived oh, this yeah. entire show yeah. so far, except probably our listeners. <laughs> they right. Probably ran for the hills yeah. like an hour and a half ago. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but here we are. It's good we have these quiet moments. Mm-hmm. It really is, yeah. yeah. Let's do some news stories and ruin that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, oh, hey, uh, oh, this is a oh. good moose story. <laughs> yeah, I love a good moose story. Mm-hmm. He's looking. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> <it's>, ever... <laughs> what's the knuckle situation? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to wait. and you, you can't ask a question like that. You always have to be surprised by the moose <laughs> knuckle you get. I cannot help how this mind yeah. works that's true that's true How, how's it work <laughs> i have no idea it's like on bond resin and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's still it's like, yeah, been man. three years it's got the wire saw stuck wow together that's in there. crazy that's good that it has stuff been lasts a while it has been yeah. three years and we are so proud of you hey thanks. we are fantastic thanks We're, it's been a fun ride yeah. it, that, no that's good that's i mean good. a lot it's, of cool stuff has happened to me yeah. in three years that have not happened to me in my yeah. whole life yeah, and that so. and that's awesome, man. That is that is awesome. And you're uh, Dayton's number one comic, according oh, yeah. to yeah. Dayton.com. Yeah, so we Dayton. need to throw that out there. Hey, Dayton.com is important. Yeah, it yeah. is. It is. You guys are, there's only a few of the comics that I actually congratulate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah most of them are like, ah, oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> no, that, that's, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Yeah. What a cool experience. Yeah. It really yeah. is. Because, I mean, I'll go, I'll go on record and say there are way funnier comics than than myself they're, oh yeah you know they well, just weren't in the their name wasn't on the list well it's 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 not a matter of that you're you are a loved comic not Thank necessarily you. for being funny but you <laughs> you would, no, yeah i, I know mean what you're saying. I and, know what you're, you're, and saying. you're funny don't get me wrong but I, but, I mean you inspire people your story's inspiring you're a fantastic individual you're always positive and you're, you're, I mean, you're, I'm getting all sappy here in the studio. It's I'm going to cry. It's it's right. Right. Let's process these also, feelings. Yeah, let's it's process also these with feelings. the, with no, the no, moose. I mean, I mean, <laughs> we, we, we're going to go <laughs> straight from this into the moose knuckle, as you mentioned. <laughs> hey, ain't no better way to go than right into the moose knuckle. <laughs> you just named our episode, Scotty. Right into the moose knuckle. <laughs> Riding a can of Pringles <laughs> into the moose knuckle. Yeah! <laughs> We're going into the moose knuckle. <laughs> That's that new ride at the fair, right? <laughs> come on, come on. Uh, Try uh, the moose knuckle uh, with a can of Pringles. Only $5. $5. You $5. You cannot $5. Stop. The Pringles moose knuckle ride. Don't feel like doing the moose knuckle. Come on over here. Squeeze this here like <laughs> foot. <laughs> Might right. get a PJ after we're done. <laughs> I'm going to buy them all for the octopus uh, squeeze and moose knuckle Pringles yeah. ride. Count the suction cups. It's Closest it's one without going over wins a prize. It sucks and you end with an anal covered peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> anal covered <laughs> peanut butter. <laughs> That's my new band name. That's my new band name, anal covered peanut butter. <laughs> I can't breathe now. That's the problem. Oh, man. Oh. Now here's the question. Here's the real question. Should I name it right into the moose knuckle or ride into the moose knuckle? Because that's that's a toss up. That's, this that's, has, that's a poser This has right been there. a ride. So uh, anal anal what was that? anal covered anal, 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 anal covered peanut, peanut butter. butter. <laughs> 
Oh, that's beautiful. It's my new death metal jazz band. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll write that down. There are going to be so many people from... <laughs> Anal covered peanut butter. And the goo goo clusters. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh man. Oh, you got to put some anal covered peanut butter on your <laughs> Wiggly stick? <laughs> oh. uh, just speak right, right into Mike today's whisper. Can we be serious for a minute? Absolutely. <laughs> no. This is serious stuff, man. Uh, We're trying to name your episode. Yeah. This is business. We got it. Uh, <laughs> There's 52 fantastic I'm, I'm names. I'm not sure we do. I don't, now. I don't think we've hit the right one yet. We're going to have to yet. put it up to audience vote. <laughs> who, who wants anal covered peanut butter? <laughs> <laughs> Come on in, vote for Don Smith's show title. Five dollars. You a can of Pringles. Get you yeah. the You want to ride the moose? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just email the life one zero six nine at gmail dot com with your choice whether we should have anal covered peanut butter or ride into the moose knuckle. I mean, why can't we have both? That's that's. Uh, it would be a shocker. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, this is a shocker. Uh, a woman, in an effort to uh, warn others of the dangers of moose, <laughs> we can't even do it now. Uh, posted a video on social media ooh, ooh. of a moose charging skiers five dollars. <laughs> I can't my, make it through this. My face is so hot. Right now. Uh, 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 posted a video on social media of moose charging skiers and snowboarders at a ski resort. Does anybody do a good uh, bull and cold impersonation? In they don't know. I'm sure oh. somebody does. Uh, the, Summit Daily News, the Summit Daily News reports Lauren Drogsvold. Did she does? <laughs> Terrible. I'd want to break you. Uh, <laughs> I will break your boot. Oh uh, you're killing me. Uh, the video shows a large bull moose <laughs> approach and then charge a crowd of people. Takes like a, a crowd at a time. Did you say a bald <laughs> A bull moose. <laughs> bull moose, boy. Bull moose. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. oh, my face hurts. Resort, John, resort CEO John Bueller. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Re- recently said staff tries to prevent guests from approaching the highly territorial herbivores, oh, <laughs> which are generally peaceful but can turn av- uh, aggressive when you <laughs> take their Pringles. <laughs> uh, Colorado Parks and Wildlife spokesman Mike Poraz, Bless you. Poor as hell, uh, says the agency has jurisdiction over moose. <laughs> the moose don't believe him. <laughs> Step away from that. that is my was he was was he elected? <laughs> like, moose. Yeah, was there the a moose, moose vote? voted him into the landslide? <laughs> Peanut butter landslide. <laughs> they pulled his name out of the Pringles scan. <laughs> He says wildlife officers are the only law enforcement personnel that can decide when to tranquilize a moose. <laughs> when the party's getting real <laughs> quiet. That's when you trank up that moose. <laughs> that sounds very Bill Cosby like. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, Scott. I'm take a little nap right now. I decide who sleeps on this mountain. <laughs> yep, nobody tranquilizes my moose. <laughs> This moose knuckle is my territory. Uh, <laughs> wow, this, we're getting a lot of mileage out of these news stories. Oh, that man. is for sure. Are and we the, actually the, through this story yet? I feel like I, we're still I, reading we, it. We made it through. We made it through. I don't even know what half of it said. <laughs> Apparently, there is a moose out there that charges five dollars in a can of Pringles <laughs> to use his snowboard and skis. D- yeah, to, use, to, to use his landslide. <laughs> Ah, man, and he wants to be tranquilized. Yeah. Every line of that story was just amazing. <laughs> Every yeah, line of that moose story. gold is what this was. <laughs> Chocolate covered uh, moose gold. Yep. There, there, there you go. Bad advice line. Moose facts. Fake moose, moose oh, facts. You've done giraffes. Yep. You've done a giraffe. I think the moose is an untapped comedy animal. I, I think you're right. Other than, you know, Rocky and Bullwinkle. It's yeah. pretty, it, they tapped it. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that squirrel tapped that move. Yeah, he did. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Bullwinkle. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now here's something you'll really like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it makes sense because it's a squirrel. <laughs> I'm going to give you the flying squirrel. Uh, did Richard Gere name a movie? Or no, that's the, that's a gerbil. That's the wiggling gerbil. The wiggling oh, gerbil. oh, my God. <laughs> I thought that was the giggling gerbil. Yeah, well, it could be. I don't know. I wasn't there. Yeah. Allegedly. Um, Either was the gerbil because he's like, <laughs> sorry. Good. I, I'm not going to read this next story because it just it'll <laughs> take us out of the mood. It's about <laughs> it's about a young boy that got lost <laughs> and hung out with a bear. <laughs> Bear's Aww. name was Uncle Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Thought <laughs> 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 we've been like Smokey over here taking it. <laughs> <laughs> A woman found herself in a truly horrifying situation when she realized that the naughty movie she was watching was actually her parents. (laughs) (laughs) Dad? (laughs) Yeah, retelling a disturbing story from when she was 15, the woman claimed she was off school because she was not feeling well when she uh, went to snoop around her parents' room. She says she found a pile of old VHS tapes, never a good idea, <laughs> at the back of the wardrobe and, hoping they were porn, decided to see what was on them, a decision she would quickly regret. A naked man who had been adjusting the camera controls walked away from the camera and towards the woman. Uh, she writes, quote, then the dude jumped on the woman and started having stiff missionary sex. <laughs> it was Ugh. the least sensual porn the I'd ever seen, and although it didn't, I didn't have much to compare it with, I was pretty sure this was amateur. It wasn't until the man stood up and started walking toward the camera with everything proudly on display that she recognized him. <laughs> so I so got once she saw it, got today. it. Okay. I got three things to say about that. First off, it's probably using the Viagra cream. Secondly, that's how she was born. And third, um, that's how they funded the border wall. Maybe her yeah, conception was on one of those videotapes. Yes. Yeah, her, her what? The the conceiving. You oh, know, okay. They... I thought you said consumption. <laughs> I'm sure they were consuming something. I'm sure, yeah, something was yeah, consumed. Yeah, I'm sure they filmed that at one point, too. Like, what if that uh, tape was dated the year before she was born? Yeah, or nine months yeah. before. Yeah. Well, it's close enough. Or the week before. I round before. numbers up. Sometimes back. Why? What do you do with them once you have them all gathered? Ah, you know, I round it just sums though. it all up, doesn't yeah. it? I round up moose and tranquilize them. <laughs> you do because ain't nobody them. else gonna do it but me. <laughs> uh, oh, it's so hot in here. Right now. <laughs> it is. It is. Let's see what what are we what are, what are we doing with our lives? Nothing good, really. Uh, Burger King customer is suing the fast food chain for allegedly reneging on a uh, promise of lifetime supply of free meals to compensate for. And during more than an hour locked in a foul-smelling bathroom, and he still wants a free lifetime supply of free meals. Uh, after finding himself trapped inside the bathroom at a Burger King in Portland, Oregon, in mid-December, Curtis Bruner, uh, yeah, Bruner, okay, I was Booner for a second, Bruner, uh, Bruner used, his, used his cell phone to call workers at the fast food restaurant for help, according to a lawsuit filed this week. The workers responded by pushing a fly swatter under the door. <laughs> you kill those things while you're in there. Uh, direct, <laughs> directing Bruner to use it to unjam the door's lock, the suit contends. Uh, Bruner could hear Burger King employees and customers laughing while he remained locked inside his bathroom for well over an hour before a locksmith finally came and broke him out, according to the legal filing. They needed a locksmith? Wow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, That's serious stuff when you bring in the locksmith. Yeah. Call the locksmith. <laughs> Call the locksmith. Oh, uh, that's yeah. That's uh, that's the terrifying ordeal. Because oh. have you ever been in a Burger King oh. bathroom? Oh. God no. Yeah. Yeah. Why it's, would you? Why would you exactly? <laughs> I'd I'd go out by the dumpster and squat because <laughs> it's much it, it's much healthier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't got to tell Patrick twice. He knows yeah, exactly. <sighs> <sighs> Nothing on that one. Yeah, I, I, I should have gone with the lost kid hanging out with a bear. That's all good. Or Uncle Steve. I didn't want to hear about Uncle Steve. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where are we? 
Oh, man. On a radio hey, station. Are we doing yeah. good? Are we doing good? Everybody, anybody I think we're need doing anything? great. We're great. Fantastic. Need some Pringles, $5. I would love some Pringles <laughs> right now. Just I actually can. really do have a craving for Pringles now. Like, we've talked about it. Subliminal. Somewhere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> P- you want a PJ is what you're saying. Uh, hey, ro- you know, robotic sex dolls could spark a birth rate catastrophe. As or lonely. spark a fire. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah you got to be careful. They're made by don't, Samsung. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't feed them after midnight or get them wet. Or uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. legit yeah. a concern I want to know Should be easy about. for you. <laughs> nah. Should be easy for you not to get them wet. If you listen to my set, it's not a big problem. <laughs> they have WD-40. That's water displacement. So that's that true. Really yeah, that that dries them right out. Yeah. Catastrophes. Yeah. Just scotch guard them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but I, I, lithium grease is much more. Scotch much guard That would look like a real like pearl necklace. <laughs> like, legit, uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, r- robotic <laughs> sex dolls could spark a birth rate catastrophe as lonely Japanese men askew traditional relationships in favor of AI girlfriends. One expert has warned the Asian country's population is declining dramatically as fewer babies are being born. That tends to happen that way. Yeah, you don't. Okay. And that's probably As fears a good problem mount that, for them. that Japanese people face becoming an endangered species. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Are they vastly overpopulated <laughs> yeah. right now? In 2018, around 921,000 babies were born in Japan, 25,000 fewer than in 2017. So that's not. Okay. That's not much. Yeah. yeah. It was it was the lowest figure since records began in 1899. Japanese officials have said around 1.3 million people died in the same year, meaning the population plummeted by almost half a million people. Well, I'm pretty Ooh, sure 1945 there was. A pretty, are they really probably, yeah. blaming all the sex dolls for that? Is that really the main cause? I I don't. Yeah, that's. Nothing. There's nothing something we can't one. say yeah. on the air. I feel like the, I feel like the people yeah. who are using the sex. I, I feel like the ones who are using the sex probably dolls, wouldn't be procreating. Yeah, anyway. there's not yeah, a big they, chance of them like, having kids to begin with. Yeah. So at least this way they're happy. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's, that's all. It, it's all that matters. No, no, no. Harry Carey with a with a Sparky Mary, I guess. Harry Carey with a Sparky Mary. That's a good one. Man. I'm I telling you, know. you are compiling a list of titles. No, that, that, that one, is, that one year, is no, to... that one is nowhere near anal covered. <laughs> <laughs> you need to like just like there is nothing that compares with anal covered peanut butter. <laughs> take all the titles you come up with, and then at the end of the year, just have like a con, like everybody votes on their favorite title. Oh, that 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 would be fun. That, that. would be fun. Those except, are some good you know, titles yeah. for people's comedy albums. Too. Yeah, yeah. We've, we've we've had. Yeah, I would that, get all of those trademarked. Uh, yeah. over, uh, like uh, over 200 episodes with the special episodes and all those compilations and stuff we have had some amazing titles for Absolutely. shows and most of them come up with right here as we're talking about Just, nonsense yeah i got That's so great. i got an idea of a game you could play on your show improv stories where people where you throw out these titles at people and they have to use these titles in their story just imagine anal covered peanut butter being randomly tossed out to you, and you have to use I it do. in the story. every day. <laughs> <laughs> yep, somebody tossed me some anal covered peanut butter. That's all, we'll go all I'm asking some anal covered peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put this up on my Pringles. T-Bone, get ready, because yeah. daddy's coming home. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I almost, shoot, I almost really want like to name one. it T-Bone Get Ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I got I to gotta say, Charlie, you missed a fantastic show. Surely did. Yeah. yeah. You really, really did. That this, that would have been the, uh, that would have been the, <laughs> but can we, the we, icing on the peanut butter. Are we sure Charlie it would have been as good with her here? <laughs> 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 Oh, <laughs> Charlie and the anal covered <laughs> cover peanut butter factory. <laughs> hey, the strawberries taste like crap. <laughs> the dingleberries taste like dingleberries. And they're hanging low in the toilets, too. <laughs> This does taste like an everlasting <laughs> god. Uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> oh, an ever nasty gob. <laughs> ever nasty gob. <laughs> oh, Definitely going to stop your gob. That is true. Oh, man. Yep. Uh, nothing stops. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing stopping my gob right now. <laughs> 
I decide who tranquilizes. <laughs> God <laughs> dang it. <laughs> I don't think we won't make it through night. the next five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh. The ever hurt. nasty guy. <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. That was good stuff, man. Shoot. Now in stores, along with anal covered <laughs> peanut butter. <laughs> yeah, this is just the sexual chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> sexual chocolate. <laughs> <chunk. laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> I'm just too old for this. Oh, <laughs> I think I've lost 20 pounds just laughing. <laughs> uh, some students strive to get A's on their uh, science fair projects. I was going to say A's. <laughs> I was thinking to say A's. I was thinking to say A's. Just trying to strive to get A's. Yeah, sounds like a good goal. Yep, it's magic. <laughs> Some students strive to get Matt A's Johnson. on their science fair projects, but this 10-year-old boy from Kentucky had bigger plans. Hey. Oh, yeah, he, he to, wasn't he, at the mall, was he? he, he was, mall? <laughs> he was with Uncle Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Eating Grandpa's cookies. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he wanted to take down Patriots quarterback Tom Brady. Oh, yes. Because who doesn't? Right. Ace Davis. Really? really? He's from He's Kentucky. He's a stroker, Ace yeah, Davis. He's, <laughs> he's going to be race car driver, mama. We'll name him Ace Davis. He's born to race. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Get the Pringles. <laughs> we're going to we gonna make us this one. <laughs> you go there whispering that octopus <laughs> ear and tell him that we got a winner on our hands. You better yeah, count them gotta, suction cups. Yeah, we're going to have Pringles as a sponsor. <laughs> he was conceived in a can of Pringles. <laughs> Or sprinkles. Uh, sprinkles. <laughs> sprinkles. sprinkles with sprinkles. Uh, <laughs> Sperm Pringles. <laughs> oh, Have a sprinkles. spritz of Pringles. Extra salty. Uh, Ace Davis from Lexington, Kentucky, entered his, entered his project titled, Is Tom Brady a Cheater? Into his elementary yes. school science fair to prove that deflated balls give, <laughs> give players an advantage. Or two what is that? What is this? <laughs> what, yeah. what does that kid know about deflated balls? Yeah, this hasn't even dropped. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Brady dead, and right? the Patriots were famously accused of deflating footballs in 2015 during the AFC title game by the Indianapolis Colts. Uh, the resulting deflate gate. Controversy led to a four-game suspension for, for Brady, which he didn't end up facing until the 2016 se season, and a $1 million fine for the Patriots. But Davis, who is a also a quarterback at 10 years old, he's, uh, you know, I thought he was going to be a race nice. car driver. I was wrong. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't satisfied with the punishment and set to solve the mystery once his dad gave him the idea for the project. Know what y'all do, boy? Ah. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> you take this five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Get me some sprinkles. <laughs> I tell you who to see. Her, her, she lives in her name's Sparky Mary. <laughs> <laughs> now don't 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 look don't stare at her. Uh, don't uh, stare at the moose, boy. Don't stare, don't stare at the moose. You stay away from Uncle Steve. He's got a strange. <laughs> yeah, He's Mary got a pet alligator. <laughs> He's a, he, he's a confirmed bachelor, <laughs> as we call it, down here. Uh, if he asks you to pet his pet alligator, Wally, just say no. <laughs> yep, just tell him, keep Wally where he is. <laughs> I don't want it. Uh, <laughs> and if he offers you any peanut butter, <laughs> any peanut butter just say no. <laughs> you don't know to know where it's been. <laughs> Choosy moms do not choose <laughs> Uncle Steve. <laughs> they choose Jeff. I mean Jeff. 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 Anal covered Jeff. peanut butter. <laughs> Talk about your cousin like that. Extra chunky. Oh, oh. man. Oh. <laughs> Everything hurts. <laughs> we got one more. Do we got yeah. one more? Oh, in we us? got one more. Yeah. yeah. All right. I got a, one a man right dubbed now. for another five dollars. I got as many left in me as you want. <laughs> yep. Yeah, how about them Pringles? A man dubbed the Dine and Dash Dater for walking out on checks while on first dates with numerous women in Southern California restaurants surrendered Monday to serve his 120 day jail sentence. CBS Los Angeles reports <laughs> Paul Guadalupe Gonzalez, uh, 45, pleaded no contest. El no conteste <laughs> in November to three counts of defrauding an innkeeper by non payment and one count of petty theft 
In addition to the jail time, Supreme Court Judge Stan Blumenfeld placed Gonzalez on probation for three years. This is a serious offense here. He was also ordered to pay $240 in restitution to two of the victims and stay at least 100 yards away from five restaurants, was barred from the dating sites Plenty of Fish and Bumble, and was informed that he is subject to search and seizure condi- conditions involving electronic devices and accounts. How bad does it have to be to get banned from Plenty of yes. No kidding. <laughs> no kidding. He's like, wow. he, he can't run for the border. Now, we, we, did, we did have a guest on the show once that was told he was too ugly for Tinder. I was here for that one. <laughs> but not banned from Bumble. <laughs> My new reality show, Banned from Bumble. Banned from Bumble. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> this has been a lot. This has been, been a, yeah, this has been just way too much, guys. I, I can't <laughs> thank was... you enough, so I won't. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh. Well, let's let's anybody have any shows coming up? I know Scotty, we both have yeah, the uh, yeah. February seventh yeah, at eight thirty at the Barrel down at in the Barrel. Springboro on uh, is it it's uh one seventy three seventy one seventy three seventy three seventy three yeah that, right seven exit not exit seventy three but route seventy three off of yeah. route, route, off of Interstate seventy five. Yeah. <laughs> I can't talk words <laughs> words are hard <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, we'll be there uh, February 7th at 8.30 for the yeah. Barrel of Laughs uh, comedy show. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, Haywood Banks is going to be at Wiley's Comedy yes, Club this weekend. Fantastic. Uh, get your tickets online at Wiley'sComedy.com and uh, go out and see Haywood uh, if you want a little uh, toast. And, uh, <laughs> some big Everybody just Jesus. show up with toasters. Yeah, just show up with toasters. He'll beat on them for you. <laughs> and he'll cover peanut butter yeah, and PJ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and uh, uh, Mike? Mike talks funny. Mike I'm talks just, funny. That's your show. That's, that's my, I'm not I making do. a statement. I mean, I do talk funny, but the new, new first show 2019 dropped today at five, and so with uh, Theo Crookshank, got a lot more episodes coming up every Tuesday. Uh, Going to get Scotty back on here soon. Got uh, a couple guys from out in LA who are on as well, and uh, currently not booked for anything. So if y'all need a guy who you know ate it on stage at a bar <laughs> on Saturday, go ahead and. Book me on my website, MikeShayComedy.com. Yeah, I can't believe go, her name was it. That is such a weird name. Who's that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was her nickname. <laughs> 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 yep, because we all told him you could have it for $5 yeah. and some Pringles. Or, uh, <laughs> her sister's name was that. Yeah. <laughs> you could have it or that. Yeah, yeah. It's, and it's then your I tried, choice. And then I tried to get the money the Pringles back, and she wasn't having yeah, it. Well, so. sometimes <laughs> you got to shoot them in the shoulder. That's all there is to it. Drag them down to Jacksonville. That would be another good title. Drag him down to Jacksonville. That's almost as bad as you got to go to Brownsville to get it. <laughs> I was uh, thinking about that. That'll make me know. Jack- never mind. Oh. And I immediately started thinking of Jackson, the Johnny Cash. Uh, <laughs> I'm all over Jackson, uh, dude. I'm going to Jackson. You come up in this head right here, and uh, you see how all over the place I am. Yeah, would, yeah that would people be. People are uh, dying. In my head right now. <laughs> it's crazy. That is, so that you're the reason for up. the decline in the Japanese population. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> we, we, here, here, we, here we're blaming the sex dolls. Yeah. Instead, uh, yeah. now he wants to point the finger at an Irish guy. So <laughs> yeah, well, what else is new? Yeah, it's usually the Irish. Oh, anyway. I know. We're always I mean, the we only just almost starved to death. But whatever. Yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, we just built the. Couldn't have your Pringles. Yeah. We just built the railroad. They took all your potatoes to make Pringles. That's right. And nobody uh, yeah. liked fish. Yeah. <laughs> nobody yeah. was fishing. Yeah. No, you just needed the octopus whisper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what you were missing. Yeah. That's what you were missing. <sighs> and some anal covered beetles. <laughs> That'll make me know, uh, never mind. Yeah. Don't make me know, never mind. Don't make me know, never mind. I, I, I ate the heck out of some anal covered peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll tell you that for free. Uh, Patrick, do you even want to promote your show now? <laughs> do you even sit on a toilet? <laughs> Come on, Squatty. So- Scotty and Squatty. Scotty and Squatty. <laughs> We're so full of titles today. Scotty, and Squatty, and all. Uncle Steve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, uh, the life1069 at gmail.com. We have anal covered peanut butter <laughs> right into the moose knuckle and Scotty Squatty and Uncle Steve. Those are the choices for titles for this show. Scotty Squatty and Uncle Steve, anal covered peanut butter, and right into the moose knuckle. That's uh, just email the life1069 at gmail.com. And the, the whoever gets, whoever 
whoever does that, I'll I'll give you a a pass to to a Wiley show. Not oh. hey, not Haywoods, but I will give out a, a one a, the two passes, two passes to see a show at Wiley's. Uh, not this weekend because of you know because it's Haywood, right? But yeah, we'll do that. And let's pay some uh, let's pay some professors around here. Let's give them some money. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Let's yeah. let's get the. Uh, Let's get right state admin to get off their butts and get back to the uh, table and and work out a deal that everybody can walk away happy from. Absolutely. And uh, that's a, that's all we got tonight. Yeah. Thanks that's a it. lot, everybody, for coming in. Patrick, send us home. Thanks for listening to the Life Radio Show podcast. Check us out on Eventide Entertainment Podcast Network or wherever you listen to podcasts. Remember, if you want to listen live, we're on Tuesdays from 7 to 9 p.m. on WWSU 106.9 FM with repeats on Wednesdays from 10 to noon and Thursdays from noon to 2. You can also stream the show live at WWSU1069.org. If you have suggestions or comments for the show, feel free to email thelife1069 at gmail.com. Overwhelms me. A brutal presence. Just imagine anal covered peanut butter.